look at that. Your clothes and your sleeping bag. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were moving in. Good guess, Megan. That is exactly what I'm doing. This is terrific. You're going to love it. I am a wonderful roommate. I do dishes. I do laundry. I even do windows. So you're really set for this. Oh, shoot. Look, you did not ask my permission, okay? I never told you. What are you doing to my shirt? Megan, I just had these ironed. When are you going to learn about me? I'm very particular about my clothes, all right? Well, that's really nice. Then obviously you're not going to want to live here because I don't have room for you or for your precious little shirt, okay? Now. Megan. Go! Now! Huh. Any messages from Vicky on your answering machine? Nope. Something has happened, Jake. She told Kevin that she was going to a houseboat party on the waterfront and you and I checked out every boat that was docked there. Well, maybe Gabrielle got nervous when she saw Kevin at Annie's place. Maybe she decided to back out before it got too late. No, even if she had changed her mind about taking Nikki to see Carlo, why, why isn't Vicky back home by now? Maybe Gabrielle wasn't taking Vicky to see Carlo. Maybe she was taking her someplace else. Like, she wanted to make sure that she was really Nikki Smith. After the scene that she caused at Andy's place? How could anyone doubt it? Bo said that, that Kevin was completely devastated by it, and it must have killed Vicky to have to pull a stunt like that in front of her own son. I don't know. Maybe she's still down at the waterfront someplace. Maybe they're in a bar somewhere down there. We should go down and try to find them. No, Troy Nichols is coming by here. I have to wait for him. Wait, you called Troy Nichols? Yes. My wife is missing, Jake. And I intend to find her. She's out there somewhere. I intend to find her. Clint! I want to find her, too. But I think calling the cops was a big mistake, Clint. I don't really care what you think, Jake. I did what I thought I had to do. I've changed my mind. There's something else I'd like you to do for me. Yeah, well, so what is it? Like a secret? It's stuffy in here. Yeah. yeah you'd uh, be much more comfortable if you... Uh, Took your clothes off. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of nut are you? Nah, I don't strip for nobody. <laughs> I mean, I like to have a good time, but stripping ain't fun. That's degrading. I didn't know Nikki was so proper. Well, I, mean, I guess you don't know that much about me after all, do you? Huh. Oh, that's, that's too bad. I had a uh, gift for you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what is it? A special dress for the party. Yeah, oh, I thought you'd, you know, put it on and uh, try it on right here so uh, I could see how it fits, like now. Hmm? Holy smokes, will you look at this little number? <laughs> Woohoo! Do I like it, man? You got some taste. I'm sure Victoria Buchanan would disapprove. Oh. Well, I thought this would, you know, really tickle your fancy. Oh, boy, you thought right. That Vicky, she belongs in another century anyway, don't she? Boy, can you imagine this dress is going to set City Hall on fire, wouldn't it? It's possible, it's possible. Possible? You're damn right it's possible. Now, this is the real Nicky living on the edge. Oh, I find you absolutely delightful. You do? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Well, you're kind of cute yourself. Huh? Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. You said still. I'm going to go put this on and come oh, shoot no, 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 What, you got diamonds to go with it? Yeah, yeah? No, 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 I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's all right. I was only kidding. Uh, no, no, well, well, you don't have to go in the other room and change. No, I, I just want you to, uh, you know, change here into the dress in front of me. Now, come on. We just went through this, didn't we? I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I got nothing against the human body. I think it's beautiful, especially mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but all you've got to do is, you know, slip out of your clothes, change into this, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll give you my judgment on that. Hey, mister, you ain't going to be disappointed. I can promise you that. But, you know, I got to... I gotta like make the whole look. I gotta do my hair, fix my face, and put on looking don't, like a shit. Maggie, Nikki, come on now. If, uh, you know... You want this party to go on tonight, you're going to have to uh, get into that dress. <laughs> and uh, if you're going to get into that dress, you're going to have to do it in front of me. Huh? So what's it going to be, huh? Well, <laughs> hey, what can I say? Like, uh, it's your party. Clint, we know that Carlo has informants at headquarters. Now, you call the cops and tell them you're looking for Nikki. Carlo's gonna know that. 
which is exactly the way I want it. That's the way I have to play it now, Jake, as if Vicky really is Nikki Smith. Otherwise, Carla's gonna start wondering why I'm letting her roam the streets without being out there looking for her. So you plan on telling Troy the whole story? I'd like to, but it's too risky. And I'd like to choke Gabrielle's little neck, too, but I can't. No, don't worry about it. She has no idea that we're on to it. Yeah, but she was seen with Vicky. And what's wrong if we ask her a couple questions? You expect her to tell you the truth? Well, no. We just got to take it slow and easy with her, okay? Okay. okay. So you don't need me here to talk to Troy, do you? No. no. Good. I'm, I'm going to go over to Megan's place. Wait a minute. You told Hunter that you weren't going to see her. I know, but that was before, before Nikki disappeared, you know? So, Different story now. I'm going to check things no, out. Wait a, wait a second. Well, Hunter said that he'd let you know if she called. I know, but maybe Hunter's left and maybe she's called Megan or tried to get... I'm going to go over to Megan's. I'm just make sure everything's okay. Oh, Troy. Clint. Jake. Hey, Troy. How, you how are you? Hey. Sorry to get you over here this hour of the night. It's okay. Listen, keep in touch. Yeah, you take care. Thanks, Thanks Jake. Hey, what's the problem? Nikki Smith has been missing for several hours. Jake and I have been looking for her, but we couldn't find her. Well, from what I hear, that's not unusual behavior for Nikki. No, but she's never been gone this long before, and frankly, I'm quite worried. You should have told me that on the phone. Now, listen, I'll uh, put out... Troy, a... I... I don't want anyone to know about her disappearance. You want to find her, yet you don't want the department to get involved. That's about right, yeah. What's going on here, Clint? What are you hiding from me? All right, I admit I was wrong. I apologize for not talking to you first about bringing my clothes over. Or your sleeping bag. Or my sleeping bag. Forgive me? Well, maybe I will tomorrow. I'll call you and I'll let you know. Megan, I am not leaving. We have one scene left to do. If the insurance company drops us, we can't finish shooting. Have I ever let you down, Hunter? No, but... With your mother and all the problems she's Trust having. Trust me. I'm not going to let Nikki Smith interfere with my work. I know you wouldn't do it deliberately. Mary. I'm not going to do it at all. Look. All right? Here. Just call the insurance company. Tell them that I'm willing to sign anything. I will guarantee that I will fulfill my responsibilities to this film. Don't tell them to worry about me. Megan, they stopped worrying when I promised them I'd keep an eye on you night and day, all right? The only way I can keep my promise is to move in with you. No, no, no. Look, it's only going to be for a couple of days, all right? Oh. Boy, this bed is nice and comfortable. The mattress at my place must be one of those super firm jobs. I like a mattress that you can just sink down into. You know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, and I don't care to know. Oh, Megan. Look, the sleeping bag is really cozy, all right? I took it with me when I climbed the Andes. You'll like it. You expect me to sleep on the floor? Well, I thought we could rotate. I'll take the bed tonight. You can sleep in it tomorrow night. No, you are not going to sleep in my bed. You are not going to sleep in my loft. I deserve privacy. This is my place. Now get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, oh Megan, I'm not going to get in your way, but I have a duty to take care of you, all right? I don't want you to take care of me. I don't need you to take care of me. <sighs> all right, wait a minute. Now, is this a general declaration of independence? Or is your problem with me? I mean, are you telling me that you just don't want me around? Look, Hunter, I don't need a babysitter, okay? And I don't need someone to move in with me. If you're afraid that I'm not gonna make it to the shooting, well then... Come by and pick me up in the morning and take me to the studio. That ought to satisfy the insurance company. Megan, I'm just watching out for my film. I care about this film as much as you do. Good. Then I'm staying. No, come on. Don't do this to me, okay? I care about you. A lot. But relationships, you know, it takes time to build them. And they're like a house. You've got to build them step by step properly. If you don't, the first big storm that comes along just knocks them down, wrecks them. I thought we had a pretty good foundation already. When we were in film school in South America together. Or was that all wrecked when I was taken hostage? 
No, not entirely. It's just that I thought you were dead for a very long time, and a lot happened to me during that time. Some good and some bad. I made a lot of mistakes, Hunter. A lot of them with men. Megan, I don't care about your mistakes, okay? They're in the past. Well, I can't forget them. Look, I rushed into a lot of relationships that I had no business being in. And one thing that I learned is that there is a time and there is a place for everything. And this is not the time for you to move in with me. I don't want to hurt you and I don't want to be hurt again. I see where you're coming from. It's fine. We'll take it slow and do it right. Okay. I was only joking about sleeping in your bed. Yeah, right. Really? I'll take the sleeping bag. Yes, you will. You'll take it right back to your apartment. No, I'm taking it to the floor in front of your bed. No, Hunter! Megan, just pretend I'm the man from the insurance company, okay? Like you don't even know me. This is strictly business, okay? Nothing more. Strictly business. Right. Just pretend like you don't know that I love you. And that you're the most important woman in the world to me. Just forget that the only reason I survived in prison was because of you. The idea of holding you in my arms again. Oh, Hunter, no. This isn't fair. If that's the insurance man... No, it's not. He wouldn't be coming by this time. What, are you a psychic now? I'll get it. Who is it? It's me, Jake. You know, there's nothing I wouldn't do to help, but don't tie my hands by keeping secrets from me. Troy, Nicky Smith already has his family turned upside down. Now, if the reporters at the police station get word of this, I'm going to have the media people and TV trucks out on the front lawn within 15 minutes. Nicky's picture will be blasted across every front page of every newspaper in this town, except, of course, for the banner. But everyone in town is going to want to know what happened to the mayor. Well, I don't see how you can avoid it. I mean, the story's bound to break anyway. There were too many people at the reception, too many people at the hotel who saw Nikki. All right. I'd still like to buy as much time as possible. The question is, will you help me? Of course. Of course. Listen, I'll see what I can do on my own. Does Nikki have any favorite hangouts, or did you and Jake check them all out? On <sighs> she told Kevin that she was going to go to a houseboat party on the waterfront. Jake and I checked out every boat that was docked there, and we came up empty. Uh, she used to like to go to the bars on Front Street, also in the warehouse district. I thought I'd check out the warehouse area if you'd take Front Street. Good. Hi, Clint. Any news of Nikki? Hi, no, Clint. no. No? You know about Nikki's disappearance? I called Sheila on the off chance that Nikki had tried to get in touch with. Mm. Look, I got a couple things to tie up down at the office, and then I'm going to hit the street. I'll check in with you later. Bye. Okay, I hope I have some good news for you. Why would Nikki call you? She doesn't even know you. Oh, I guess uh, he figured that he'd touch base with everyone he could. I suppose you and Vicky got real close when you were working with her after her stroke. Did she tell you about Nikki? Yeah, well, we talked about it a little bit, you know, after the intruder printed that article about her visit to the psychiatrist's office. Have you been over here since the wedding reception? And have you talked to Nikki? No, I figure it was something that Clint ought to handle by himself. Have you spoken to Clint since the reception? No, I thought if he needed me, he would call me. I still don't understand what he thought you could do to help. Troy, I am not a suspect you brought in for questioning. I mean, why are you treating me like this? You know, like I said, it ain't my bag, but if you're stuck on it, I'll give you a cheap thrill. Show's over. What? Button up. Button up. I didn't ask you were here to get uh, changed in front of me. <laughs> oh, it was your idea, not mine. I was testing you. You were testing me? Mm -hmm. What for? What are you, crazy? Nuts? No, I'm I'm perfectly sane. I just wanted to make sure you were Nikki Smith and not Victoria Buchanan. Yes, I do. Then how the hell could you think for one second that I was her? The idea of you mistaking me for her makes me sick. Oh, Nikki, 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 I, I'm sorry if I offended you. Yeah, well, you did offend me. 
I guess I ain't such a good judge of character after. This takes the cake. You know something? I hate being tricked. I'm very sorry. You are? Yes. Really? Very much so. Oh. Well, okay. I mean, everybody makes mistakes, right? Even me. <laughs> You're kind of a good egg. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, let's get out of here, okay? This place is so weird. Look at it. Let's go to your place. Get comfortable, and then we could uh, have a party. I got some good ideas how we could have a good party. <laughs> Ooh. Nikki. What? Nikki's my name and fun's my game. Not tonight, hmm? What do you mean, not tonight? You got me this great dress. Now I got nobody to wear it for? I've, I've got something really pressing on my mind. Oh, honey, honey, honey. You can't be thinking about business all the time. I bet you got more money than you want to know what to do with anyway. Come on, you gotta loosen up. You gotta take a break. We gotta have a party, have a little fun. Nikki, there's a reason uh, I asked you here. Yeah, and yeah, to... I know, I know. You was testing me. Well, listen, I passed the test, right? I mean, you know who I am. So come on, let's go have a party. Come on. Oh. <sighs> business first. Pleasure. Mm. Come in. Why are you inviting him into my house? Megan, calm down, right? I will calm down as soon as he leaves. Haven't you caused enough trouble? First you show up at the reception and you bother Nikki Smith, encourage her, and then you show up uninvited to land fair and you you come to Sarah's, little Sarah's christening. I mean, if that wasn't enough, I was having a good day until you showed up. Why? What do you want, huh? Uh, oh, oh, I suppose you're wondering why why Hunter's standing there Megan, with his shirt off, aren't you? Down, I'll, right? tell you I'll tell you Megan. why he's standing there with his shirt off. Megan. Because, because he's moving in. Just calm down. Moving in? Mm-hmm. <sighs> No, he can't move in. You, 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 you can't do this. Oh, yes, I can. He already has. That's no. right. And, I, and don't, don't, this uh, yeah. is the last time. Just, no. I, I'm just going to tell you, Megan, stay out of my life, okay? Calm don't come down, by man. here. Relax. Don't call me. And if you see me in public, don't bother to say hello. No, listen. Megan. listen no, to you me. listen to me. Listen I have heard enough from you. You cannot let okay, this guy move in here. I'm fine. I'm going to go take a shower. A shower? You're going to take a shower now? You know, you don't waste too much time, do you? What do you think you're pulling here, huh? Take it easy, Jay. What are you up to, pal? I'm sorry, Sheila. I didn't mean to pressure you. It's just that it's automatic for me when I have a lot of unanswered questions. Well, didn't Clint fill you in on the situation? Well, he gave me a song and dance I just couldn't buy. My instincts tell me he's holding something back. Something's wrong. Couldn't you tell? Troy, his wife is missing. No, 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 no. It's, it's more than that. Well, if... if... If Clint is keeping secrets from you, then he has to have a good reason for withholding it. I mean, why is that so difficult to understand? Listen, I'm going to drive around and see if I can pick up Nikki's trail. If she's out there, I'll find her. Troy, do you mind if I go along? Well, the places I'm going to check out aren't exactly for ladies. Well, thank you, but I have been around. Not to these bars, I hope. They're dives on the waterfront. All right, I haven't been to those places. But if I am with Landview's... Um, <clears throat> top cop. I mean, what could happen to me? Oh, please, let me tag along. Please, please. Is that a yes? Good. I'll take it as a yes. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's go. We're off. Hey, big guy, like, what's the hang-up? You fall asleep at the wheel or what? What's the big secret, huh? Can uh, you keep a secret, Nikki? Me? Are you kidding? My head has got more secrets than a chicken has feathers. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you look so serious for, huh? Uh, I have something serious I want to discuss with you. Oh, yeah? Is yes. it about the secret? Yes. Sit. Yeah. Go ahead, shoot. I know you are the uh, confident type. Assured. Very positive way. Oh, say. yeah, you got it. That's me. Now, Nikki, if I share my secret with you, mm -hmm. you have to listen to exactly what I tell you to do. You understand? You can't improvise on my plan. Think you have a better idea. You must follow all of my instructions. Hmm? Yeah, right. well, that's no problem. I mean, I know when to be serious and when to mess around. <laughs> and I kind of figured you was the kind of guy you shouldn't mess around with. <laughs> oh, I hope so. You can take it to the bank. 
Okay, so what's the secret? Is it dangerous? I love dangerous stuff, because you know, just being out here for me is very dangerous, and I ain't afraid of nothing. Does this frighten you? Nah, huh? should it? Most of the guys I went with carried pieces. Do you know how to use it? Sure. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, nice. Yes. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Hey. <laughs> bang, bang! You're dead. <laughs> I don't like guns pointed at me. Even when they're not loaded. Hey, no offense. I was just having fun. Guns aren't fun, they're deadly. Oh, yeah, well, I know that. So, how come this baby ain't loaded? I'm a very careful man. I don't carry a loaded gun. Oh. Only unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, you know, that's very smart. That's really very smart, because I once had a boyfriend who shot himself right in the foot, because, hey, I thought I got to keep that. I'll tell you when you can have it and the ammunition. Well, I'm ready now. I'll tell you the time. You follow the instructions. Sure, it's your deal. Okay, what are the instructions? Nikki, what I'm going to ask you to do is going to require a great deal of courage. Yeah. Now, I, I know that you'll be able to do it, and I know you'll do it well. And you'll have ample rewards. Rewards? <laughs> What kind of reward are we talking about? Oh, anything your heart desires. Whoa! Hey, my little heart's got very expensive desires. Oh, you name them and they're all yours. You're kidding. No, no, really? No, no. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> okay, what, what's the favor? What do you want me to do? Oh, it's really very simple. Now, all I want... Yeah? What's that? Well, what's what? Who cares what's what? Tell me how I get anything my heart desires. What the hell is Clint Buchanan doing here? What? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, brother! Thought I'd seen the last of him for tonight. Now, did he follow you here? Oh, how could he follow me here? If he'd followed me here, he would have come running up here two hours ago and taken me back to that prison. Nah, he probably just figured out I flew the coop and came looking for me. Why here? Why here? What do I know why here? Probably because there's a couple of bars I used to hang out in. They're around in the area. Hey, relax. He's not going to come up here looking for me. Come on, let's get back to the plant. No, what no, do you want me to... no, no. I want, I want you to go back to uh, the plant there. What? Yeah, I'll, I'll contact you tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, now, this is no... No, no, Nikki. Hey, don't tell me a tough guy like you is afraid of a creep like Mr. Clean. Nikki, I uh, know you enjoy living on the edge. Yeah? The razor's edge, so to speak. But I want you to follow my instructions and just listen to what I say. I'll contact you tomorrow, okay? Now, go back. Listen, if I go out there, he's gonna grab me. No, it's all right. At least I know you're getting back to land fair safe. Just don't tell him where you've been, okay? Well, hey, I promise I, I won't say a word. But listen to me. You gotta keep your end of the promise. I get anything oh, my little heart oh, desires. Anything your heart desires, my darling. Definitely, most definitely. Don't say a word to him. See you, hon. Bye-bye, Don. Take care. who asked me to keep an eye on Megan around the clock. Don't let her out of my sight, remember? I didn't ask you to move in here, did I? How else am I supposed to protect her? Oh, cut her with the bull. Come on. Honey, you, you saw an opportunity to move in here, and you jumped on it, didn't you? Hold it now. Listen, I listened to your crazy story about Megan being in trouble with Carlo Hesser and the added news that Nikki Smith is somehow involved. You gave me no proof, no evidence. I had to go on your word. So now I trusted you. It's your turn to trust me. Oh, I'm gonna trust you. Whew. Jake, I don't like this situation any more than you do, you know that? I mean, I've always been honest with Megan. Now I'm telling lies about the insurance company that's underwriting my movie. I mean, lying may be easy for you, but it's not for me. You want to keep an eye on her? You rent the loft right across the hall. I have to know it's available. I'm here now, and I'm staying. Megan wants me to leave. She can kick me out. If you don't like it, that's tough luck. And what's your next move, huh? Moving into her bed, or did you already do that? Oh, man. Good night, Jake. You know 
what kind of vulnerable state she's in right now. Don't yeah, you? I also know why. Because of you. Because you've been jerking around for months. Everything was fine until you butted in. Oh, everything was fine with you, but not with Megan. You thought you could keep her on a string while you stayed married to Charlotte. But she got fed up with it and wanted out, only you wouldn't let her out. Hey, I stayed married to Charlotte for very good reasons. Believe me. Yeah. You got reasons for everything you do called selfishness. Why don't you just shut up? You promised me you'd stay out of this if I kept an eye on Megan. Now that I'm keeping up my end of the bargain, you're freaking out. Well, it's time to put up or shut up, Jake. If you want to protect her, you be my guest. Tell her. I'm out of here. You know she won't listen to me at this point. Oh, well, then I'm elected, right? Why don't you make things easier for all of us, Jake? Just leave Megan alone. All right, listen. Nikki Smith is still missing. If she happens to contact Megan or show up here, you can reach me at my office. Get away from me. Oh, no, wait a minute. Don't... No, no, it's all right. I'm Vicky. We can't talk here. Why not? The streets are deserted. No, don't look up. Carlos in a loft upstairs, and he's probably looking out the window right now. Have you been with him? Yes. Now, just follow my lead, and I will meet you around the corner, OK? OK. Just get your mitts off me, you great... Oh, wait a minute. Get in the car. Coming home with me, Vicky. No, I ain't. I need a drink. You're coming with me. I need wait, a drink. Oh, I'm going to Rosie's. Get out of here. You're coming with me. Get in the car. In your dreams. What I do with my time is my business. What's all the shouting about? Nikki wants to go bar hopping. Clint wants her to go home with him. Clint? How did he get down here? Nikki says some of her favorite bars are in this area. Do you know a place called Rosie's? Yeah, it's just a block over. You seem concerned. Just a little. Why? Well, the party sounded like it went all right. Are you having doubts that she's really Nikki Smith? 99% sure. Yeah, but it's better to be 100% sure. It's imperative. Did you get into landfill? I had one of the technicians take care of it. Mr. Armstrong, call the car. Nikki? Oh, no, it's just a street walker. Oh, she must be cold in that outfit. Oh, she was quitting for the night. How do you know? I could tell by the way she was walking. She wasn't looking for any business. <laughs> you must be quite an expert. Well, I started out walking a beat and graduated to patrol car. I used to know all the girls on the streets. I used to know almost everybody in my precinct. You miss it, don't you? Well, it's been a long time, but yeah, I guess I do. I really felt I was helping people. Come on, don't you feel that you are accomplishing anything as police commissioner? Well, I hope I am. But when you're on the street, you really see what effect you have. So it's a little more rewarding. It's very generous of you to come out tonight and look for Nikki. I'm always happy to help the Buchanans. Yeah, They're a nice group of people. Well, there's something we agree on. Oh. Mr. Commissioner, if this is going to lead to a discussion about Rick and Carrie, forget about it. I don't want to hear it. Nichols here. Clint. Well, no sign of her yet, but I'm still driving. 
What? Is she okay? What, they found her? Even with the shower running, I could hear the two of you shouting. What were you fighting about? Jake's angry that you're staying here, right? Right. I can't blame him. If I was in his shoes, I wouldn't like it either. Why should he care if you stay here? You know why. He still loves you. Well, he's had a million chances to prove that, and he's failed every time. Maybe he just doesn't like commitment. Frankly, I really don't care what it is, because it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be jerked around for the rest of my life by that man. He might have his reasons, you know. Why are you defending him? I'm not defending him. Yes, you him. are defending him. He's made your life as miserable as he's made mine. Not really. Boy, I really don't know how you can be so fair. I certainly can't. I mean, you saw what I did to you. What did you do to me? Oh, come on, I was... Well, I used you. I was so angry at Jake, I told him that you were living here. I, I mean, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, it's just that he makes me crazy. Are you telling me to leave? Hunter, you don't want to stay here and sleep in a sleeping bag. Megan, I want to finish this movie, all right? If the insurance company cancels, I can't do that. If it means staying on your floor a couple of nights, I can manage. Why is this insurance company being so ridiculous? How do they know about my mother anyway? It's their job to know everything that could affect the film that they're underwriting. Well, I guess I've caused you enough trouble as it is. I'm not going to make you go waste your time and energy with the uh, insurance company. So, I guess you might as well stay. Thanks. I suppose you wish that you'd never come to Landview. It was the second smartest thing I've ever done. Oh, yeah? What was the first? Going to film school in New York instead of California. If I went to California, I never would have met you. You sleep? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Am I keeping you awake? No. Just lying here thinking. About what? About the time when we were separated. When they dragged me away at the border. Oh, I still have nightmares about that. I can still see the fear in your face. The fear was not for me. I knew that uh, they'd probably just question me and release me. I was afraid they'd drag you away, too. Yeah, I know. I was wondering what would have happened if we weren't separated. bet we would have had a couple of kids. Got married first, of course. We would have been engaged first. Of course. How long? A year. A year? Would we have lived together? No. <laughs> You'd have had a six-carat diamond ring on your finger to remind you of me when I wasn't together with you. <laughs> I think I could deal with that. And there would have been the wedding, of course. What would that look like? Fairy tale kind. The kind you dreamt about when you were a little girl. It would have been at about half past six in the evening. Ah, yes. White tie and tails. Fancy long gowns. And a horse-drawn carriage to take you to the church and then to bring us to the reception. 
Then we would have boarded the yacht, sailed off to the Caribbean for our honeymoon. And then we would have started our family. And lived happily ever after. Yeah. Sounds like a nice movie. Yes, it does. Night, Megan. Night, Hunter. Oh, that's great, Clint. That's great. So, you think he's all right? Okay. Well, uh, listen, I'm, I'm glad everything is, is working out, and um, I'm here. I'm at the office in case you need to get hold of me. All right. Okay. Good night, Clint. Carlo got you this? Yes, darling. I don't know why I expect he gives all his girlfriends dresses. Some men bring roses and he brings dresses. You model it for him? No, of course not. Darling, stop worrying about the dress and let me finish the story. Did he, did he, uh, uh, make a pass at you, Vicky? No. I mean, if he laid a hand on you, No, I, I swear to you. The last thing on Carlo Hess's mind is sex, especially with Nikki Smith. No, I think he intends to use her for something quite different. Like what? Well, I'm not sure, but I think he wants her to kill someone. Oh. Did he tell you that? No, but it was kind of obvious when he opened his briefcase and took out a gun and asked me if I knew how to use it. Do you still have the gun? No. No, he took it back. He said he would give it to me again when the time was right. Said he had a favor to ask of me, that that favor would require courage on my part, and that he was sure I would succeed, and when I did, I would be amply rewarded with anything my little heart desired. Now, doesn't that sound to you like he wants me to use the gun on the Okay, that's, this has gone on long enough. You are out of this. It's all over. Tomorrow morning, first thing, we are going to, uh, down to the city hall. You as yourself, Vicki Buchanan, and you can be properly embarrassed about this Nikki no. Smith incident. No, I can't stop now. Like hell you can't. It's going to be very simple. <laughs> Nikki Smith is going to disappear just as quickly as she Clint, showed up. Clint. If he doesn't give the gun to Nikki, he's going to give it to somebody else. Well, let him give it to someone else. No, I can't do that. My daughter is involved in this somehow. And I have to find out how she fits in his plans. I really do. Did he mention Megan? No. Well, then maybe Jake is wrong. Maybe she's not involved at all. But, but what if she is? Well, we'll find some way to protect her. We have a way to protect her, and that way is Nikki Smith. Uh -huh. Please, darling. Look, the hard part is, is over with. I've managed to convince him that I'm, Nick, I'm Nikki Smith. But I have to keep her around until I can figure out what his plans are. Why do you have to be so mule-headed? Darling, if you were in my shoes, you would be doing the exact same thing. Now, I promise you, I will be very, very careful. And as soon as we find out what Carlo's up to, Nikki Smith will disappear for good. <laughs> Where's the receiver? How many bugs did he manage to plant? 
only three. All of them downstairs. Someday you and me are going to make history. Hey, cut it out. You know I don't like that kidding around. <laughs> Who's kidding around? Come on, big guy. I'm going to make you the happiest man in the universe. Cut it out. And when I get down you ain't never going to let me go. I guarantee it. <laughs> Kill it. That's Nicky Smith, all right. That sounds like Mr. Buchanan has his hands full. Oh, he can handle it. He's been doing it for years. But she's going to make me the happiest man in the universe. The Buchanans will finally pay for my son's death. Oh.